With regards to women's status in Afghanistan, let me tell you what we have achieved in the last 10 years. We have a constitution which is eight years old, and that constitution reflects on women's rights very effectively. Uh, so that's, that has been the beginning of a new era for Afghan women. We did, our political participation in Afghanistan in the last decade has been remarkable. In 34 provinces, we used to have until um, two weeks ago one uh, female governor. Now she's running for vice president election. Uh, we have one mayor in one of the provinces, in one of the very remote provinces. We have 27% of seats in the parliament dedicated for women, according to the constitution, uh, which is a good number compared to our other countries and uh, our fellow sisters in other parts of the world. Um, we have in the cabinet, we have three ministers, uh, female ministers. It's uh, Ministry of Women Affairs, Ministry of Social and Labor, and Ministry of Public Health. Uh, we have uh, 8 million children going to school, and 39% of them are female, or girls. Uh, we have uh, in our civil service commission, we have set a target of reaching at least 30% of civil service commission, uh, civil service staff to be women, but now we are at the rate of 16 to 17% for that. So these, these are all numbers that Afghan women have gone so far in the last decade. We have also seen a reduction in maternal mortality. 10 years ago, every 27 minutes, a woman used to die from childbirth in Afghanistan. Today, it's every two hours. Every two hours, one woman dies from pregnancy and childbirth. It's still high that every two hours, a woman dies from pregnancy and childbirth. But we have seen a tremendous uh, progress compared to a decade ago, where women used to die every uh, 27 minutes. Um, as you said, we used to have very little scale birth attendance 10 years ago, so quick as you mentioned earlier. Today, one third of the deliveries that happens in Afghanistan, they are assisted by skilled personnel. That might be a physician or a midwife. And 60% of women during their pregnancy have at least one antenatal care. So those are progress that we have, made, we have seen. But I, I, um, I'm one of those who believe that prosperity and peace and development in Afghanistan is very much depends on women's empowerment in Afghanistan. In order to have an Afghanistan that's in peace and that, that enjoys prosperity, we have to make sure that women are part of the political, social, economical um, uh, agenda of the country. Um, although we have made uh, a lot of progress, but it's important to keep those progress, to keep those momentum, and build on them. Uh, and when I say Afghan, Afghan women and empowering Afghan women, uh, that will, the, the result and the benefit of that will come to the entire family and community. It will not only limit itself to women and, and, and to mothers themselves, but it will benefit the entire country. And I think the country has reached to a point that, that uh, women are part of the political development, social and economic development in Afghanistan. And we cannot go reverse to where we were 13 years ago.